Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about just dry brushing um, and how I kind of work and brushes I use and the colors that I kind of select. So I'm working on this Cookie Monster piece, which is highly textured. You can see it's got a lot of texture on it. And I've already base coated this. I'm using Deco Art Paints today and I've base coated it with this ultra deep blue. This is all dry. I've base coated the eyes and the sailboat that I'm going to paint like a cookie. So basically, when I'm thinking about colors, I'm I'm working with three different colors here. I need a base coat. I need my solid color, which is like the main color of the character, and then a highlight color, which is you know just one shade lighter. So I've got a shade darker and a shade lighter than Cookie Monster's color here. But for this demonstration, I'm probably just going to mix a little bit of white in with my bright blue once I do the dry brushing over the top, just so I can show you don't really need three colors. You can, I mean, you need three colors. You always would need a white, but you can mix um, white to achieve your highlight color, and then you don't need three different shades. So I'm going to be using bright blue for this demonstration. too much paint there. So I'm going to be needing a paper towel because we're dry brushing. And I'm going to be using this number six snap Princeton brush. It's a flat brush. And the reason that you always want to use flat brushes on textured pieces like this, because you only want to pick up the top of the texture with the paint. You want to leave the shadows, which is this underneath the, the divot part of the carve. You want to leave that the darker shade. So if you use a round brush or a filbert brush, you're going to get the that dry brush color that you want to do on just the top. You're going to get that in, in the grooves as well, and you don't want that. So since this is pretty textured, we can leave quite a bit of paint in here. I'm just going to start, I'm going to hold the brush at a, um, horizontally like this. I'm going to hold it up high. That's why I buy these long handled uh, brushes because I hold them up high. We just want to pick up the color on just the top of that texture. So basically, we're, we're, we've wiped off quite a bit of paint off of the brush, and we are using a dry brush. It's not wet with water or anything. We're not going to rinse it. We're just going to continue using it dry as we mix. So I did two coats of the dark blue underneath, and that's because for me, I like a solid color on the underneath of my dry brush pieces. Some people do a wash, which is fine. It will save you a little bit of time if you're using a really dark color like black. But I, I really like the full color underneath, so I like to go ahead and do full coverage on my base coats. Okay, and we're just going to continue doing that, just barely picking up any of that paint on that brush to the piece. Now you could use a number eight brush if you wanted a little bit of a bigger brush, but I wanted a small one just because I, around the face here, I wanted to try to be pretty precise. So if I use an eight, I'm probably going to get some blue on the white of the eyes and I'm trying to avoid that. So. I went ahead and went with a smaller brush than number six. Now these brushes, I believe I got these from Jerry's Artorama. Um, so I can try to find a link for you guys, but any really any flat dry brush, dry brushing brush will work. They're really, um, they're hog hair bristles. So they're very stiff and you want very stiff, stiff brush, bristles in the brushes. And again, we're holding the brush up pretty high because we want the brush to lay to lay down in a horizontal position. Mm, probably could do, you know, two or three or even, I don't know, one coat would probably be okay, but... I want it to be pretty bright. So I think I'm going to probably do two coats of this lighter blue on top.
Now, as you, as you continue to work this paint out of the brush, then you can kind of hold it at a more up and down angle if you need to, to get into some of these tighter spots. But you wanna to try to keep your brush as flat as possible until you work out most of that paint. Because you don't wanna to have too much paint on your brush, then you're gonna end up with paint down in your texture and you don't want that. You just want that, you want that texture to stay dark blue underneath there. Pick up a little more paint here. I'm just going to continue to do that all over because we need to have Cookie Monster's color, which is this blue that we're doing, the bright blue. This is kind of like his, his normal fur color, but we have to have that shadow, the shadow underneath. So that's why we base coated it with the blue first, with the dark blue. Now you can see working with a flat brush here, it's really staying out of those round edges, which is what we want. We don't want that lighter color up in the shadow area. So that's the other reason why we use flat brush on these highly textured areas. And you always want to work against the grain because if you work with the grain, you're going to end up with the lighter color in your texture as well. And I'm leaving quite a bit of paint in this brush here, much more than I normally do. So you just want to make sure that when you're doing that, you're not putting very much pressure on the paint brush as well. So you don't want to overdo the light blue on top of the dark here. It's really easy to do if you have too much paint on your brush. Oh, just like that. Too much on there and I got it right in. You see what happens when you add have too much paint on your brush. When you're trying to hurry, which is what I was doing. But that's okay, I'll be able to fix that, I'm pretty sure. Won't be too, too noticeable, hopefully. So don't fret. No mistakes, only happy accidents, Bob Ross says. So a little more paint there. Um on the top of the mouth here a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more on top of the face. You know, you could use a little bit of a smaller brush here if you want, but I'm going to just try to make this work. So I, I don't have a number four flat. I need to go get one. Mine's not usable. So I'm just going to work slowly and try not to get any paint on that sailboat cookie. Okay. 
Pick up a little more paint here. Just high spots. So about down here. I don't need to get a little bit more in the middle of those legs there. Now remember, you want to work against the texture, against the grain of the texture. So I'm going to just load up one more time and just really quickly go over some of these spots with one more pass. Try not to get too much paint in that middle area there. Well, I'm pretty good about that. Got a little bit more here around the boat. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of white that I already have laid down here. I'm just going to make, I'm not rinsing my brush or anything. I'm using the same blue. I'm just adding a little bit of white here and I'm going to make my highlight color. Added just a little bit too much white. So get a little bit more blue in here. Okay, and we're just going to hit the high spots on this guy with this highlight color. So the top of the face here. Top of the mouth. Well, these are the high spots where you're getting the most sunlight, the most light. So obviously on the top of the head is going to be lighter than under the neck. Tops of the hands here, all the way up to the elbow. I have a highlight here. Same thing on this side. Highlight out to the elbow. Now you could even come up a little bit on the side of the arm here, but you don't wanna go all the way up because his head is creating a shadow here. So we just wanna highlight on these high spots. Okay, same thing over here. We can come up a little bit, but not all the way. Okay. 
high part of the belly here. We're going to highlight that. Tops of the feet. I'm going to highlight those. And you could even hit a little bit of the tops of the knees there. Okay, and we're going to flip around here. We're going to do the top of the head. Obviously, we have to have a lighter shade of blue up here. Now, you could use your third blue if you wanted to, but I just, for this demonstration, just show you how easy it is. Just add a little bit of white and your same brush to create a nice highlight effect. Okay, then we're gonna come back here on the tops of the shoulders. We're gonna add a little bit of a highlight on the top of the bottom. There's a little bottom here we're gonna add a highlight. And then in the backs of the legs here. Okay, that's it. So easy. Now, if you wanted to, you could always come back, add a little bit more white for an even brighter highlight. And maybe we do that just on the top here. So let's see how that looks. Add a tiny little bit of white. I'm just gonna add it on the top of the face here kind of in a triangle shape. And then right on top of the mouth. It's pretty well done for being dry brushed. And come back and add a little bit more of a highlight on top, but that's it.